do you know that once you have mastered forgiveness, you would have mastered your own psychological makeup. You will sleep better, heal faster, understand your journey from where absolutely anything is possible. I draw the cards for who I'm connecting with, that tattle of a place, an oasis. It is a hiding place for who we truly are. It is here that you will start to understand exactly why to forgive. Thank you for joining me. My name is Vani and I am the Tarot Tattler. Now Taurus, let's dive right into today's tattle. Your first card out is the Page of Wisdom. Now with the Page of Wisdom, we're talking about a messenger who delivers a message of love. Um, it is a journey, perhaps. It is something that you are waiting for. And it sits in your hopes. You are waiting for this message of love. Now, we could be talking about a long-term investment that you are waiting to hear back about. But as the reading progresses, we'll see where this is going. In your fears, with the Eight of Charisma, it talks about something that you would have to put all of your work into. So Taurus, what it is you're fearing right now is that there may be something that you have in your mind space regarding a work project, something that you could possibly work on. And it is taking you to the edge of your mind. Um, it sits in your fears. It keeps you up at night. Now Taurus, if, if you aren't being kept up at night with thoughts or fears, there'll be other reasons why you would have to be awake at night. Maybe you'd need to use the restroom. But whichever way it is, you are going to be awake at night thinking with the chariot a message regarding a move. It is a small message and it is something that you have known was coming. In fact, you, you knew exactly what it was that was coming. With the aid of strength in your current environment, Taurus, We're looking at back and forth communication, but this is regarding a work project, something that you are willing to put all of your time and effort into in order to make it a success. And with the King of Charisma, you have laid the foundations of what it is that you need to communicate and it has a very, very strong foundation. Now, Taurus, a part of your fears are related to your finances. Wondering whether you have laid the foundation for your own long-term finances. the time you spend not being able to sleep, is the time that you are trying to find some kind of balance within your mind. With the temperance, it asks us to have patience. Whatever it is that's going to unfold will unfold in time. But it's the energy that's balancing you in your current environment. So it asks you to, to take a step back, 
and to clear your mind, which is something you have quite a bit of experience in because it's something you've been able to do in the past. You are actually quite ready to go full steam ahead with a clear mind, with the sun. <laughs> a Taurus, I'm talking about this oasis. You managed to clear your mind in such a way that you were able to tap into a happiness that not too many people are able to find in your current environment. You are using the energy of the High Priestess, listening to your intuition, knowing that you will be guided to exactly the right place. With the Queen of Charisma, a perfect match to the King. Now this is where you hit it, Taurus. With the Queen of Charisma, this is an energy of prosperity, sensuality. This is a Queen who has a firm belief in herself. She is accommodating, she nurtures, so right now you might be surrounded by soul family. You might be the one who does the pre preparation of meals. And Taurus, it is what? It is this that brings you joy. Tending to the needs of those around you is what is the source of your happiness. With the tree of strength. A new project that is grounded, that is headed for success. With a three of strength, we're talking about watching your ships come in. Something that's related to the communication that you are sending out. With the king of intelligence. Under the temperance, this balance, the temperance could talk about a Sagittarius in your energy, a Sagittarius who carries the energy of the King of Swords, someone who is the source of valuable advice. He might be someone who's at the top of his field, he's diplomatic, authoritative impartial. He is the balancing energy that's going to allow you to proceed into your near future and your outcome. Now Taurus, I have to warn you that even though I may tell you what your outcome is, you are not going to be able to understand it until it happens. But there are times we, we need to know now in the past, Taurus, the reason you were able to clear your mind space was because you had a different perspective and your perspective is yet again going to change in the near future. It is the basis of the communication that you send out a new perspective. And this new perspective talks about success. It talks about bringing in a vein of happiness that may not be freely available as it manifests in, in the physical world. Here you are again, Taurus, as the Hierophant. We could be talking about long-term stability, a long-term relationship, marriage. The Hierophant talks about traditions, everything that came before. And under the Queen of Charisma, your focus is in being that nurturer 
but you do it from a different perspective. Your perspective on what traditions are, what they stand for, is about to undergo a complete change. And Taurus, from the Three of Strength to the Three of Wisdom, a celebration, whatever is closing out and, and restarting in your life, whatever it is that surrounds you, you are going to be able to celebrate this with soul family. Here they are. A party to, to where it is you going. Happiness, success, being able to move from the ace to the two to the three. And here we have the three of intelligence. Now this is the Three of Swords. This talks about some kind of heartbreak. You know, sometimes, Taurus, the biggest heartbreak we have is in terms of letting go the biggest heartbreak we experience is in having expectations. I often say that the quickest way to disappointment is through expectation. Now Taurus, whatever it is that message that's coming in, it doesn't contain all the information. With the Ten of Charisma, we're talking about a long-term, your long-term finances, you moving home. And it's going to allow you to move from a place of sadness to a place of prosperity. With the Six of Wisdom, whatever is being held back from you, whatever it is you do not know, it might just be an energy that that lets you know that something is missing and, and understand, Taurus, that if this is so, this is exactly what it was meant to be. It is the only energy that's going to allow you to proceed. The Ace of Strength, a new creative project that leads to success being able to settle your finances, your resources, your long-term longevity and what it's going to require from you is being able to manage more than one thing at the same time quite successfully, I may say, Taurus. Now, don't get caught up in feeling alienated. You have soul family that surrounds you and within the soul family is your happiness. So if you're spending time alone in quiet contemplation, know that it is only a temporary place that you will spend your time. And Taurus, under the deck, is that new beginning we were just talking about. Can you see that with the full? So Taurus, I wish you all the best. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, this tattle. And until the next one, bye for now.